Hey guys, it's the Suburbans, and today I'll be taking a look at the private server for patch 3.3.5 in World of Warcraft. This patch is during the time of the Wrath of the Lich King, which was by far my favorite time in the history of World of Warcraft. Today, and in the nearest future, I'll be taking a look at some of the different features you have when running your own personal private server. Today, we'll be looking at building. The first thing I want to show you is the building process of a rather failed levitating house in the shallows of Basin. The way we build this house is by stacking wooden benches at top of each other. This is by far the easiest way to build floors and walls. This can also be done with things as metal benches to give it another feel, but we felt the wooden theme was more appropriate in the jungle. A friend of mine came up with this idea when we first started to explore and set up our personal private servers during the time of the Wrath of the Lich King. Another thing that was easy to use were things such as tables to build larger staircases and bridges from edge to edge. The challenge of building a levitating house was rather difficult during the start, but once we figured out how to build the flo floor properly, it was not that much of a challenge. As you can see here, I made a mistake during the building process, and normally you would be able to use a code to delete the latest prop you put down. I can't remember if I put too many props after this, or the server bugged, since we weren't able to remove the metal bench. All in all, the house didn't turn out the proper way we expected, but this was also our first go at a house for approximately 6 years. Once you've built a house, you can give it a name and define it, so you'll be able to teleport to it later. This gives you a sort of a hearthstone to your own very home-built home. Another funny aspect, and in my opinion one of the funniest aspects of building, is also to decorate and design your new built house. This is only limited by fantasy and the amount of props that was put into World of Warcraft. All the codes needed to spawn the furniture and different kind of things can be found on Wowhead. There is a lot of weird props, and just by typing different codes, you can spawn the most weird things in the history of World of Warcraft. This is really funny to play around with. As displayed, we filled up our own house with props such as apple balls, bookshelves, grills, and a lot of empty bottles so we can look like a bunch of freaking alcoholics. You can send whatever signal you want, because it's only the people you allow on the server that can join. While the building of the house runs in the background, I'm gonna tell you guys a little about my background. I'm a huge fan of World of Warcraft, and I've been loving the Warcraft universe since I was 6 years old and my dad introduced me to Warcraft Tides of Darkness. I claim to know almost all lore that I find necessary to know, and my own World of Warcraft account has over 10 months of playtime during the course of 10 years. Since the time of Warcraft Tides of Darkness, creating your own mass maps has been a possibility. With the success of Warcraft Reign of Chaos and the Frozen Throne, with maps created such as Dota, Lope, Angel Arena, with more, I always wanted my own map editor in World of Warcraft. This is the closest thing you get to it, and by just playing it with your friends and with enough time and effort, you'll be able to create your own structures, your own characters, items, quests, and much, much more. With the help of my friend, I might put up a guide at some point on how to set up your own personal private server, but until then I encourage you all to go look for ways to do it, because there's only one way to describe it. It's amazing, and it's all yours. So before we wrap up this video, let's take a look at the final product we have. Now that the house is complete, let's take a look at what it came to be. In total it took between 1 hour and 1 hour and a half to build. As we enter the house, we can see there's only the skeleton of the house that is complete, and no furniture has been spawned yet. As you can see, we have an elevator from the first floor to the roof, and a rather weird staircase leading up to the first floor. The first floor is empty as well, but we have the opportunity to go outside and explore this little outdoor area that we built. This also leads to the elevator, which would take us to the top of the building. I find this really cool, though the Norwegian elevator doesn't match the wooden feel and aesthetics. 
from the roof we can look at the beaches and the sea of Tenaris and enjoy another day of work equipped in fully my gear while holding the legendary aspirin. So thank you guys for watching for today. I'll be putting up another video with uh, more kind of funny clips from the private server. Um, it will come up pretty soon. But until next time guys, take care and hopefully you'll come back. Subscribe, like, comment if you want to and have a nice day.